Yo, everyone. <clears throat> How's it going? I'm just waiting. I'm gonna just give it a couple seconds. Hope y'all are doing all good. We're so close to 400 followers. Want to get to 400 soon. Hopefully this month we'll uh, tackle that. Just listen to some new songs I haven't heard yet that are recommended to me. I don't know Ninja Theory made this. I remember when Unreal, Unreal 4 was announced and like shown off, it was like, everyone was like, whoa, look at this game. Look at this engine. It looks so cool. It's, sick. it's the same thing that they do with 5. 5 looks really cool too. This game will have some spooky shit in it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Sorry about that. So when I came in, I had to talk to him for a second. Uh, that looks good. Uh, I'm hitting. I'm hitting A. all good I probably could do high on this at this game I could probably do it it doesn't like kill my fucking bit rate frame rate See what else audio. Okay. <laughs> My girlfriend played a little bit of this. I have not actually played it. So I'm going to start fresh. Right. One second. There we go. Who are you? That's my name. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can sneak without alerting the others. Being audio up a little bit. Let me tell you about Senua. 
after her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. This is gonna be spooky. What's happening? It's breathing from the dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. She's getting closer. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. This is a journey deep into darkness. There'll be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? They're watching. Why isn't she doing that? Changed them just like it changed her. Can you see them over there? Why isn't she looking? <laughs> Why aren't you looking? It's an ally. Look up ahead. An ally. Do you see it too? You promised you could. Yes. yes. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. Um, I think she has schizophrenia, if I remember correctly. Look around and you'll see them. The drowned, the sick, the slain. Here they lie, rotting in the fields and rivers of hell. But the dead don't always lie still here. Can you see them? Can you see them? They're going to do that to you. Jeez. They're watching. Please stop. Can you feel them watching? They're watching her. Just got me on edge a little bit. What is she thinking? I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness. It just builds onto itself, growing stronger. Towering over her. You might try and ignore it. Turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight. Where you're most vulnerable. She is. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. Fucking intense intro. Jesus. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear. Runs far. Far deeper. Oh, camera's got focused. What 
is she looking at? Too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. You can't do it. If anyone pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. This game is so pretty. Look really clearly. Focus, Senwa. Focus. Focus and you'll see. What happens if you focus? Do not forget my story, Senwa. Because your darkness comes from hell and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. That's fucking crazy. When did this game come out? Because it's just visually the fidelity of this game is really good. Outside of some small issues. This game I played well, yeah. That's so spooky. This is what looks like all the graphics is cranked up all the way. Which lies the halls of hell. The place they call Helheim. There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved, Dillian. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? Why doesn't she turn back? He's already dead. His soul is in Helheim. His 
whose soul still lives. She needs to save his soul. She wants his soul to be at peace. She needs to make him to rest. He's already dead. So the the, the quag is from it. it. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. Oh, she's deaf or blind? The no, she's schizophrenic. Let's see, shall we? That's why she's hearing voices in her head. speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth harvest wind and sea. Yeah. In Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim, and that is where you must travel. I thought it was going to auto press. I thought it was going to auto climb. I think they were making this game they talk they have a mental they have like a mental health person help them like kind of like put together how she would think now like well like what they experience he's going to hurt you it's dangerous don't kill me i'm not one of them don't listen i was just hiding well, Cassie, or let <clears throat> I me mean, want to take care of that real quick. <clears throat> okay, I got it. I had to take care of something. Don't listen. Let the bastards catch me again. Never! Wait. Who are you? It's just a memory. Drew? Is that you? How do you know? For my tales of the Northmen, they call me Drew. Ooh. Liar. An old fool. <laughs> truth is my truth. Huh? It's good to see you again. You kept your vow. I guide you in this life and the next. I will tell you my stories of hell if I may walk. 
with you. Tell me your stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye. And you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. Use your eyes. Use your eyes. I can see you. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. Do it. Think it should be open now. Sorry about that. <clears throat> the gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. It worked. Thank you. It's all safe. I spent six years enslaved in hell, but I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listened when everyone else laughed. My people paid the heavy price. Carry my stories with you. That seems dangerous. And together we will make the North super dangerous. feel our fury. Oh God, I was so scared to slip off. Another voice joins us. She once tried to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. But what good is that? When we are always here. I guess it's the same with heights. You can stand on the edge. Pretend it's going to be okay. But you know that death is near, waiting for you to make that little slip. You can't just wish things away. Jesus. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side, and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her you must bargain. Oh. Jeez. I suppose there's no like walking on it. Throw my camera like way too far up. Oh god, just tons. 
sounds of rain all of a sudden. the living from the dead I'm trying not to talk over the story is that the face of Hela herself the half rotten goddess that rules over Helheim whatever horrors lie behind that door she must find him Sorry, one second, just take care of something. Jeez. Just to win this. Yeah, I was just to win that. Those are two guys. It's the game over screen. It is this crazy. Seems way too like coincidental. A vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. The yeah. darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rocked. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head. The seed of the soul until there is nothing left of her. <laughs> All 
of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. The dark, the dark rot will grow each time you die. If the rock just saw his head, her quest is over. Hmm. Okay. And all progress will be lost. Oh, damn. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. But actually, that is what Dilly yeah. taught her. Well, With every defeat, quote unquote activity, the dark rot will grow, and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow, whatever the cost. He's not mm. Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. Oh, yeah, I don't want negative activity though. The gate, you must first. Face the gods that guard it. The god of fire, Surt, and the god of illusion, Van Raven. Spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. The Northmen say that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness. Bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice, which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice, and the first giant was born, and was named Emir. The ice continued to drip, and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a cow, whose milk oh. fed the giant. That's right, a cow, but you weren't expecting that. No. Not at all. That is not at all what I was expecting. Do the right door first. Sort. The fire giant has answered. He comes from a land older than mankind. And the Northmen call upon his flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground. Yeah. Find him, Senua. Uh, okay. It's really early considering how you stayed up yesterday with me. She found the wretched old fool on her way back from the wilds. An outcast. Badly burnt all over. She took pity on him, for he was not long for this world. Like her, who he spoke of his own darkness. The Northmen. Ah, hmm. uh, okay. Once I get it, something. My back to she also. Peace over here. Senua, we each walk these lands gazing towards different horizons, some of us further than others. Your father cannot see what you see, but there is nothing wrong with seeing the world the way you do. Oh, too soon. Something, I 
feel like there's something down this way. I gotta go look. Yeah, okay, I was right there. There's something down here. It's a story. The Northmen say that at Ragnarok, the sons of Muspel will travel to battle in the ship called Nagalfar, the corpse ship. And when the sons of Muspel leave the ship and ride to battle, it will be as though the sky had split open, and Surt will lead them. Wherever he goes, flame will erupt before him, and fires will burn behind him. Cool little like Norse mythology we're getting. Corpses. human flesh <laughs> and I still hear their cries carried in the wind I was able to beat that oh. too, yes I heard their screams and I still hear them now okay I go find this one See, that's something over this way. Oh, this one looked kind of close. Mm -hmm. Go this way. To Hellheim is sealed to the living, but you already walk amongst the dead. Look towards the gate, and you will see that it has opened. It's very cinematic. I 
knew enough of their tongue to beg for mercy, and they took me as a slave. I wish now that they had slaughtered me like the others. I rode their storm of fire, death, and slavery to many lands. This darkness you speak of? <laughs> I know it well. And I'm still here to fight it. I heard the second game got like a really big mixed reception. Yeah, it's whatever. It happens. down some doors. It was like made a thatch. It's probably the boss right there. This way. I hit A. Get out of the way! She's hurt. She won't make it. He can read Finish this! Finish this! Oh, I didn't die. I didn't die. I didn't die. Oh. Die. That was close. That was super, super, super close. Get through. She'll need to find another way. Truth said, find your own path. There's always another way. There's always another way. Make sure they're done talking. Find your I'll zoom in on it. You just have to find it. Is waiting for you. It was never going to be that easy. The Northmen tell this story. Before the Earth was created, there was a world called Muspel. Because it was in the south, it was bright and hot, flaming, burning. Sparks that flew out from Muspel became the stars. Other sparks melted ice in the frozen world of Niflheim, creating the body of the first giant, Ymir. Muspel is one of the nine worlds, and is now the land of the fire giants. And people from elsewhere cannot endure a journey there. Hmm. Oh. 
Hmm, we have another statue. Going on. The Northmen made fire sacrifices, burning slaves like me to reveal the path to soot. I searched for meaning in their suffering, in their eyes. But they just screamed like helpless pigs. Mm. Answer your prayers, Senua. I asked the gods for mercy, all of them, even theirs. None it's a real answered. dude. In the end, I set myself free. Defy the gods, Senua. Find your own path, like I find mine. My gods abandoned me. I am alone. That looks like one was like, oh, there's another one. Another fact is fire sacrifice now. The Northmen say that what we see as a rainbow is the bridge that goes from the world of men to the world of the gods. For now, they say the frost giants and the mountain giants cannot cross it. But they say that when Ragnarok comes, not a thing in this world will be safe. The Rainbow Bridge will break under the onslaught of the Fire Giants riding on flaming steeds. Senua, I have seen the fire of Surt spread far and wide, and to our lands. Ragnarok is coming. There's a lot of really good stories so far. I'm gonna go inside there and I'm gonna need a run out. Blacksmith. Find those symbols. Just doing a little exploring before I trigger that. Insatiable gods of darkness. I come from Eren, Senua, where I once followed my own gods, the Tuatha de Danann. Why did you abandon your gods? Senua, I was a man of knowledge, not a warrior. To survive, I 
I did things. Bad things. Like you, Cinema. The man I once was has died. And when that happens, even gods you worship can die with you. Something here, like uh, oh, that's why. Okay, that's what it was. I just gonna have to go here. Pick R. This makes sense. Seems really weird that yeah. That was right. Let's see the weird that this was like this. It's like a little battle arena too though, so watch there be a fight right before I get to this door. not fair. It let me go through the door. God damn it. That's my, that's my first true death. I'm trying to do this deathless, but whatever. Fuck me, I guess. Yeah, I was. I died for something really dumb. I probably won't ever, I hopefully won't ever die again. Prayers and cheer for me in this game, like without dying. <laughs>
finish this. I had a feeling there was going to be a fight though. I mean, it kind of looked like a battle right now. I really just went across the at the end of that. That's her up until they're done. I'm kind of miffed about that. I made it across it. It still killed me. It's so dumb. Ugh. Too frustrating. I used the one. Oh. Sorry about that. So if this is a parry. So we've got the ads to finish. Christ. Ugh, so lame. So right bumper the block, A to evade. I feel like block could probably be better. Like if you parry it. Eight seconds left. Welcome back, everyone who was in the ads. Again, I'm so dumb. This. Okay. I gotta try this 
again. That could parry is a big win. Hmm. Is that cage? Oh. Northmen believe that the world will be destroyed someday. They call it Ragnarok, the destiny of the gods. Asgard will be attacked by Surt and the fire giants. A monstrous wolf will swallow the sun, and the gods will fight in vain against their enemies. There is nothing they can do to prevent it. But Odin ever seeks knowledge and magic, hoping, hoping to find a way postpone that dark day. That's the tracks. How did you escape your darkness? Senua, once I found my purpose, I was no longer enslaved to the suffering I had to endure to reach it. Unclouded by fear, I could see it clearly in others. Even my captors feared the fire of certain. And so, during one raid, I took my chance ran knowing that they would not follow a fool mm. ran into the fire <laughs> they left me for yes. dead maybe they were right to but here i am free 
I'm glad I found you in the wilds. I wouldn't have made it without you. This is an interesting story so far. I've been enjoying it. Gameplay is pretty solid. It's clicky, or like, you know, very fast. Snappy gameplay. It's up this way. That's what I would guess. Oh, I had fear. I could have played fear too. But maybe we'll do that next. something to do with the flag yeah maybe also two but it doesn't seem like it oh I see it found it what's up goblin welder thanks for the lurk There's another sacrifice over this way. This also fights like an uh, arena. Yeah, well, there's a friend of a friend who I see every so often. He's a friend of Shark. He's a friend of Shark. Uh, Sharky, as well as a friend of M. He's good people. And escape my darkness. And so can you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This darkness takes everything. Everyone. Senua. Are you sure you want to do this? We can fight this together. Side by side. We always do. This is my battle. I have to face it alone. 
away from here. Where will you go? I don't know. For how long? I don't know. I believe in you. You know that. This game's super good so far. Just, just promise me that you will come back to me. I want you to say it. I want you to say it. I will come back to you. I promise. Beat him, beat him, beat him. Oh, fucking trigger. Sick. Get fucked. Those voices could be really distracting in a fight. Uh, depends. Surger's dead. So it goes until we fall. And in the end, we all fall. Jesus. The gods have their time. 
Yet we still go on. Why? I made a promise. And I will go to hell to keep it. I die free. Knowing you will carry my stories with you. I have fulfilled my quest. Yes, you have. When the darkness comes, I vow to guide you in this life and the next to fulfill yours. Then I will serve you with help. Be ready to face horror in the eye as I have to find your answers your quest your truth jeez this game is intense that was cool, that was a good fight, it was fun Druth was a troubled man scholar turned slave they tortured him, took him with them on their raids, drove him to madness, spreading this new form of darkness to new worlds. Oh, those are bodies. To my world. Jeez. It's crazy. saw a deep connection form between the Northmen and the darkness. His tales of hell were true. Then that was the source of it. She learned everything she could from him. Until she too could see what he saw. Too bad. That was a pretty solid fight. Sorry, I'm multitasking. Yay! Dark thoughts, dark thoughts. Jesus Christ. This, this game has some real fucking dark writing on it. Oh, that's fun. That's darkness through here. The fight. She doesn't get in here, I bet.
Ooh, heavy attacks. Calculating. <laughs> ah, so you melee with the shield people. I got it, I got it. I figured it out. She's only done one test. Just one. She's only done one test. Figure it out. Is there another one? Okay. Val Raven, ancestor of the seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Yeah. Follow the path to Val Raven and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. Actually, let me go back one real quick because I think I saw something. Yeah, I didn't get that one. Did I get that? Do this real quick. I got this ready. The Northmen say that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness. Bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice, which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice. Yeah, that's the Ymir story. The first Got it. giant was born, and was named Ymir. The ice continued to drip, and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a cow whose milk <laughs> fed the giant. That's right, a cow, but you weren't expecting that. No. The Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir, and that the world of men was formed from his corpse. No. Oh. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Oh, Jesus. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel, and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Emir's great curving eyebrows as walls. God, North Myth is so strange. Really dark. I think it's the path that you went when you were playing Nemia, if I remember correctly. So I recognize this whole spot. What's that? It's a door. Push it. Push it. Push it down. Some cozy walls. Maybe. Is there multiple paths you can go? Yeah, there's the fire one that I did, and then there's this one.
Hmm, I'm missing something. Oh, yep. Let's get this up. hides the path to Valraven. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. Let's have to skip this step, that's all. It out. It's funny. We all want to see behind the veil, don't we? But once we do, we mostly just close our eyes again and pretend what we saw was never really there. This is the little castle thing that was on the way to Surt or Surt. Surt? Surt? Whatever his name is. What you do in your fights when you're when you had to do them? This is a fight. Oh gosh. This is the price she pays for seeing things differently. Because once you gaze into the relentless darkness, all that lurks within it can see you too. This is the one you were stuck on. This is the one you were stuck on, if I remember correctly. Valraven's power of illusion comes from ravens, allowing the ravens to break his magic seal. Show me what you have seen, Truth. Look how much oh. it's
Yes, the god up there are gonna fight. Yeah. Yep, it's gone now. At the end, I gotta fight. Do you feel it too? It's like crossing into another world that looks the same but feels different. An imposter world. Mm -hmm. The forest itself is watching. I'm not the main villain, but the villain for this, or the the bat, uh, the boss for this area. Big bad hell from this. Hell is a person in North Norse mythology. Which ravens? Can't you see? Sensory. Line up the ravens. Pretty cool, I like these puzzles. Yeah, 
it seems like he is kind of helping, which is interesting. Have to fight those things again. Down this way, and they're going to be there in a while to fight me. There's like a lot of space near like a objective that there's usually like some sort of fight gonna happen. Your picture fear. Elephant's cool. shadow in the woods. That's interesting. Creature in the night. If only it were that simple. I think at two hour mark I'm about to go pee break. Uh the like next ad break one we'll two. Deep and primal signal from within. A reminder that just because you cannot see the threat, it doesn't mean that it's not already here. She can't. She can't go in there. So is this way? I was right. I was really trying not to die there. I'm gonna try that again. It's just the fucking 16 billion goddamn enemies. No! 
you so so tense. I mean, I'm real. I'll be real. I gotta think I'm pissed. Like, super bad. So I'm gonna do that real quick. This will be right back. Um, holy bass, don't start while I'm going pee. I'll be back. We got that minutes. Okay, back to it. Emir was a frost giant, a being of darkness. And all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice. Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife. And oh. they had three sons. Odin was the eldest. And the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods. The Old Father. Interesting. Hmm. Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home, loved ones, to head deep into the wilds, perhaps never to return. Senua does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. Jeez. The 
Northmen say you must sacrifice in order to receive. They tell how the rune the Northmen say you must sacrifice in order to receive. They tell how the runes were revealed to Odin only in sacrifice. He hung himself from the world tree and he stabbed himself with a spear and he dedicated the sacrifice to himself. For nine nights he hung on the tree without food or drink and at last he saw the runes below him. He gave a cry and gathered them in his mind and learnt them. Then he fell from the tree. Interesting. Yeah. Actually, like little plot things, like uh, Norse mythology, just like laced throughout this, which makes sense. Oh, this is gonna be a fucking clusterfuck of illusion stuff. Great. Oh, this one first. It's not you. It's not you. She's been in the forest like this before. This reminds her of someone. The forest. Where? Which forest? The forest in the wilds. The wilds. She left in you. She went to the wilds a long time ago. Why did she go to the wilds? She wanted to fight her own darkness. <laughs> she thought she could beat her own darkness. Did she beat the darkness? No. <laughs> it nearly killed her, but she tried. Druth. Druth helped her. If it wasn't for Druth, she'd, she'd be, be dead. dead. She can't beat her own darkness. She wanted to marry Dillian. She came to beat her own darkness and then marry Dillian. But she it didn't thought, work. She thought her curse would affect him. She thought her curse would spread to him. She thought she'd bring the darkness to him too. She nearly died. She thought the curse made her tainted. Druth helped her. Last way down. Okay. So I need to go, but there's something up here I want to look at, so it's worth it. The Northmen say that Odin is always in search of knowledge and wisdom and magic. There was a very wise being named Mimir, who guarded the waters of wisdom which flow from the roots of the world tree. Odin wished to drink from this spring, but he had to pay a price. So he gouged out his own eye as offering to Mimir. He drank from the well and traded one way of seeing for another. Interesting. This is pretty interesting.
get this bridge down. Should be able to go across the no problems. The ravens. The ravens. They've gone. They've gone. No. Half of them have gone. They've gone. Some are still there. But where? Some are still there. No oh, ravens. Mm. in the wild and cold winter woods she no longer felt fit for this world she almost gave into the darkness but she remembered Lillian's words she remembered her promise she resolved to fight on and kill that which had become Hmm. Oh. This one? Oh yeah, it's this way. Okay, I see that. Let's see how it's starting to pause. That's started. I did not realize my mic was turned all the way down. This game is pretty good so far. I'm enjoying it. Comments a little like 
generic, but that's not a big deal. The game, the like the visuals and the story so far has been pretty cool. I like it. It's loud. It's a little, well, actually closer to forty, but. Twenty seconds. Twenty five seconds left. Ten seconds. Just we're vibing right now. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. So naive to think she could banish it on her own. The further she saw into the darkness, the more she struggled to see anything at all. And the glow, the smallest hints of shape, sound, or thought, grew in strength until they consumed her whole. Before she knew it, the darkness had her in its claws. There is no such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness. It's like it doesn't want to kill her. Yet. It will gnaw at her. Biding its time. Only when she is at her weakest will it strike to kill. Will she find Dillian before her time comes? Russian. I'm just chilling up there. This looks like a boss or you know. Looks like a you fucking will never find this final illusion to face him in his keep. I know you can do it, Senua. You have the sight. We both see the darkness. We can fight it together. a little confused. This way. Stairs will be there. Speak to me, Drew. Tell me a story. Senua, listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called Finden. The Northman captured Finden's sister, and his father oh. sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Yeah. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set 
fire to his home. His father burnt to death, but his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast that was at a hall near the sea. But when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved oh, him geez. and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findon made his escape. What was Findon burnt away that day? But from the flames, a new man stepped forward, and Druth was born. Oh, is that about himself? Druth. The man that I am. And though Findon never set eyes on his dear sister again, I, Druth, have found you, Senua. I wish you could have seen my home before these dark times. I'm gonna go this way now, I think. in the bird nest. Uh, is that difficult or something? Or am I just blind? I think I thought there was something. Let's just go this way. Oh, so I gotta go back into this. Okay, I figured it out. I figured it out. Here, the tree. Is open. Open. It's darkness. I know it from the wilds. It's coming back for me. Jeez. Oh, I'm still here. Are you too? I remember. It didn't end well in the wilds. It never does. Oh, looking at her. You think you can overcome the darkness, make sense of it, and once relief settles in, strikes out of nowhere, throwing you helplessly back into the maelstrom. Drowning the mind in fear. Deeper. Deeper. Dragging you down so far into the void that maybe this time there is no coming back. But there, in the darkness, and she remembered what he told her. Hear me. Reach out to me. Senua. Take my iron mirror. Look into it. For it is a window into the underworld. Within, you will see the face of the darkness that you fear. And if you focus, like I have taught you to, you will also see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil, it too is trapped within yours. Focus. 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 I see you now. You let me to the wilds. You trapped me there. Yeah. <laughs> 
Period. Get up quick. Oh. Come on, come on. She's hurt. She's injured. She won't make it. Focus is the only way. 
Let's go. It was an illusion. But not this time. Nice, fuck him up. Fuck him up. Sick. Beat his ass. The mark of Valraven, one of the keys to the gate to Helheim. Hold it in your mind's eye. With every battle, the darkness grows stronger. Every victory, bringing her closer to defeat. Unfair, isn't it? In those dark winter nights in the wilds, there were times when she considered Letting go. If it weren't for truth, a chance encounter in the wilds, she would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. And she would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. I'm coming. Northmen want to get back. Sick. That was pretty cool. It's getting kind of, like short as hell. That's that's fine. That's why I don't want to know. This looks to be super short. That's okay though. When she was younger, she would lay in the grass. It's pretty. And then she saw them. Elusive. Shifting faces. After a while, she could see the faces everywhere. In the trees. The mountains. The caves. If there was a random fight, I wonder. Can you see the faces too? They're there. If you look for them, Senor. Mother? Senor, you have the sight. Just like I do. Once you can see into the underworld. The underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Did you see her? That was her mother, Galena. She was a priestess, a healer. Hmm. She taught Senua to see the weak. beautiful. It was a time before the darkness. But when it did come, it first came for her mother. If anyone still sees her face from time to time, hidden in the world, like she's still watching over. Still active? That looks like it's still active. He misses her son. This one's still active. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, on both of them, there's two faces so far I've seen. Anything else after that? Um, okay. With the mark of Valraven. 
and the mark of Certus. You may cross the bridge over the river of knives to Helheim. <laughs> I'm kind of waiting to see if a boss pops up or something. Why is she waiting? Open, open the gate! Open the no, gate. Don't. no, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Don't open the gate. Don't. Don't. She's done. It's so dark. It's dark. Oh, shit. Dark. No one here but me. Not you. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. Vessel to bring him back home. Still beats a heart. Eerie. Very eerie. These like these scenes have a crazy emotional like the darkness touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. A gaze. Averted from light. You ran from it but brought it nearer. Led it to him. An endless suffering worse than death. And you wanted to surrender. Abandon him to find peace with the gods. No. 
the darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye, and you will go to war. Wonder who? This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. Let's go. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it fights. Well, that made sense. Every gate you open into darkness brings another chance. Did I end up? Oh, I made the wrong one. I made the wrong one. That's all.
okay. I'm gonna bring him to me. I'm gonna back him off. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Journey However you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd, and is challenged by the giantess. Oh? One down here. I actually don't know.
I figured out where the X is. It's so, all. It's down here. I just gotta look up at it from a different angle. into and the doorway. Hela possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls, high are her gits. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold all will stumble. Her bed is oh. called sick bed. And her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. They say she is easy to recognize. Half black and half the color of flesh. And her face menacing and grim. Mm -hmm. Spooky. Spooky. I do that. Completely throws my camera everywhere as other than where I need it to be. Yeah, it's weird. Warrior, you're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Get up. Get up. Get up and fight. I gave the call a try. Interesting. Stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears, as seen by our inner eye. What if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? 
Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Samuel's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You failed the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Curse. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Oh, everyone hates her. She's a curse. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there's no one left to do that for you. Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just Do like it. your sword. Do it. Come on. There. Ah! Ouch. That did not look pleasant. Why go on? give everything and face that which torments you only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined why go on is it really so weak to ask this or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question sometimes the answer lies in a memory a feeling song This is crazy. She's she's been through some shit. Are they adding to the bridge? Oh, I am. she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father, Zinbel, made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney Plains. That was her world. Like this one. Barren. And lonely. Can you recover cinema? You can do it.
Ooh, like a spooky ghost sword. Is that what's gonna happen? There he was. <laughs> the lone figure of a boy. Sword play under the shade of a tree. She remembers the first time she saw him. To her young eyes, he moved as if dancing. into that place there's doors in the way forgot the mimic fight I will say uh, I'll probably call it a night after I finish this last cinematic from afar, she mimicked him, affecting her own secret dance, wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last forever. <laughs> the Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. Hmm. Sounds like an Anglo Saxon story. What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not. I don't leave home much. Oh, Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. No one. Well, I I watched you, and you learned all of that from watching me. <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dilly. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. 
and darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. So anyone knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide and don't tell her. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here. You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No. And all your suffering will have been for nothing. Shut up! And talk to me. Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister. And she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. She is. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. You bitch. Going. This game is sick. It was pretty. It's been pretty fun so far. I will finish it up tomorrow probably. Let's use the buttons. Chill for a second. We will see the sounds of silence. Who is on? Is anyone on that I can see? Okay, I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna head out. You guys have a wonderful night. Um, bye.